Who the hell should you buy with your special Super Dragon Ball Heroes stone from the Baba Shop sale? Let's find out. Stay tuned. Now, so far, this uh, Dragon Ball Heroes celebration on Global NJV has been incredible. We have some very solid, solid units with... Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Rose and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. I've been having a ton of fun using these characters. Um, even the Janemba is pretty good too. Broly sucks, but Vegeta and Dark King Fu are eh, very mid. But overall, I'd give this celebration a solid uh, 8 out of 10. I think this year's Hero Celebration is a lot better than the years previous. I think the 2021 Heroes units are pretty good too. But today we're going to talk about who you should potentially pick up with your coins. Um, the crossover special Baba Shop coins. So... This stone right here. Recruit characters with Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover special Dragon Stone 3. The only way to get this as of right now is obviously buying the, um, where is it here again? Lost it, lost it, lost it. Buying the 91 Dragon Stone pack, you get that stone with the purchase of the 91 Dragon Stone pack. So you buy that pack for stones, you get a option at one of these characters up here. Now, Right off the bat, I'm sure a lot of you know who I'm going to say first, and obviously it's our boy Vegito here. We'll go over him in just a second, but I have a few other characters on here as well that I think are actually going to be worth that stone, especially if you buy two or three packs. I think there's three in total that you can purchase, but there's a couple other characters I want to go over. But yes, of course, let's start with the big boy himself, who recently just got an easy A, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito Zeno. So... Why is this man so, so good? Let me get rid of these ads quick. Um, after his easy A, not only does he have a good leader skill for crossover units, crossover category key plus 3 and HP attack and defense plus 180%, let's go over this man's passive skill. So, he gets an 180% buff to attack and defense, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack, crossover category allies key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 30%, Giant A power category allies, key plus one on attack and defense plus 30%. So he's an awesome, awesome support on top of what everything he does. He reduces damage received receive by 5% per crossover or giant A power category ally on the team. Um, depending on which has more members, yada, yada, yada. And then he has a high chance of nulli nullifying enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So that counter is very, very good, man. It really is. You can see it quick. Here's the animation for it. So basically he gets the counter and he can do a good amount of damage, especially if you have your link level 10, you know, you get some dupes in him, fantastic. But if you're looking for your first copy and you don't have him yet, and you have one of these, uh, you know, stones on available, the special Dragon Stone 3, I think your first choice should obviously be this guy. He links very well with the new Super Saiyan 4 Vegito Xeno, Limit Breaker, but he's also a just phenomenal unit on just in general, right? But... That is my number one pick, and I think you guys all knew knew that coming. He links very well. He shares six links with the new Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, which, I mean, the same character, right? So they should. But if you do not have him, I've been... I actually just pulled my first copy a couple days ago, so I've been trying to link level him, get him easy aid, all that good stuff. But he's a lot of fun to use. He actually is, especially with that counter. I feel like I get that counter quite often. But I have some showcases coming up for him as well. Unfortunately, mine's only 55%, but hey, I got a copy, so I'm, I'm happy. But, going back to this whole list, so obviously Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is a good option. My next unit I'm going to talk about is Int Toa here. Int Demon Goddess Toa. Yes, we're all uh, drooling over her, right? <laughs> Think we're good over her. But, she's actually a very solid unit, depending on if she can dodge. When she gets built in dodge, we'll go over her whole, whole kit in general here. But... I think she's another solid unit that can be useful, especially after her easy A to spend a stone on if you already have a Jito and you're still looking to buy, you know, one unit. If you don't have her, she's a good option. She leads Dragon Ball Heroes category key plus four in HP, attack, and defense, 150% of stats. Not bad. Her passive skill, attack and defense plus 180%. All allies key plus three and attack and defense plus 40%. Very nice. High chance of an additional attack plus 10% for all allies. High chance of a de uh, additional defense plus 10% for all allies. High chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack when HP is 50% or more. Extreme class allies attack and defense plus 60% and recovers 50% of HP when HP is 50% or less once only. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% up to 120 with each attack evaded. 
including super attack. Her uh, 12 key raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage to enemy, and lowers attack and seals super attack. So very good in super battle road. She is uh, she gets built in dodge. She is an amazing support unit, especially for these Dragon Ball heroes and crossover, you know, class teams. But what she does for extreme allies is just incredible. She's a solid option for that support. And I've actually used her quite often. I pulled my first copy this year, but I also pulled another copy on the ECA banner. So we got that bottom right path open, and I'm having a ton of fun using her in content. So she's another very solid option. She is, she is, she is. Now, Vegito and Goddess Toa. Who else am I going to recommend with the Super Dragon Ball uh, stone that you can buy with this banner? I know a lot of people may be thinking Tech Trunks, but until he gets this easy, I'm going to hold off on him. Pandel's good. Um, if that's her name, I forget. But all these characters are okay. Our next character who I'm going to talk about um, is going to be... Where is he? Right here. Super Saiyan 3, limit-breaking superpower, Super Saiyan 3, Goku Zeno. So, I am a huge fan of this unit. He is still viable to this day. He has aged very well. And mainly because of his damage reduction and his defensive capabilities, especially for difficult content. So I pulled this uh, unit a couple years ago. Um, I've been, I actually use him quite often, even outside of the hero celebration. I use him quite often just because of what he can do. So his leader skill goes Dragon Ball Heroes category or Super SDR type, key plus 3 in HP attack and defense 130% to stats. His passive skill, uh, Super Warrior's Tactics, reduces damage received by 15% for 3 turns from the character's entry turn, so that's good. Attack and defense plus 150% and guards all attacks. There's no chance, he just guards, that's why I love him. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional defense plus 20% up to 100, and reduces damage received by 7% up to 35 per hero's category ally on the team. I love it, man. He gets a guaranteed guard, he gets damage reduction, he gets extra defensive boof, uh, buffs. His uh, super attack 12 key greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. So again, going back to Super Battle Road or some events where you can stun the enemy, fantastic, man. So keep this guy. He's uh, low-key pretty good, not going to lie. I love you using him. I got him link level 10. I think I got one dupe in him, but that's about it, and he's still very, very good. So he's a solid option as well. Back to our banner. I'm going to talk about one more unit, and I'm not going to officially say to uh, summon or you know use your stone on him unless you have all the characters I've already talked about, but I think he's a very viable option. If we go up here quick, also honorable mentions, Gohan's very good. This Deborah after the EZA is very, very good. Tech Cooler and then Supreme Kai Time are very good for support, but I'm going to go one more down in our last row here, and we're going to talk about the man himself. The ultimate evil and hatred of baby Janemba. Now, bear with me, right? He's got an easy A, and I'm going to explain why he could potentially be on your list. If you already have everything in the that we've already talked about, all the units I've mentioned, this guy, if you do not have a copy, may be worth it. He's helped me win a lot of difficult contents because of his, uh, or missions, just because of his dodge. But leader skill is terrible. AGL type, key plus 3 in HP attack and defense plus 100%. I do not like that, but... I got to put him on this list because of his passive. After his EZA, recovers 12% HP and attack and defense plus 120% at start of turn. High chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack. That is the, pretty much the reason. Plus an additional chance of evading his enemies' attack, including super attack, plus 12% within the same turn with each attack evaded. So he dodges, he gets an additional... He just dodges, dodges, dodges. That's his whole thing. And if you guys have not learned in Dokkan Battle yet, you fools... Dodge is how you win difficult events. And being able to dodge is a very good option for surviving and actually getting the event and missions completed. Um, but he gets an extra 12% within the same turn with each attack evaded, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120 when performing a super, a super attack of HP is 60% or more. His 12 key super attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to enemy, and massively lowers defense. So, I don't recommend him being your first pick. Unless you have copies of everything I've already talked about, but he is a very solid option for actually getting some dodges in and surviving events, in my opinion. But, to each his own. If you have this stone and you're wondering, you know, who to buy or whatever um, your heart desires, we have a lot of good options here. Broly after his EZA is good, Tech Trunks is good, but that's kind of who I uh, recommend right now. Celius could be good too, but I'm recommending, um, first off, Vegito, then Toa. 
Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and then Janemba, baby Janemba. Obviously, it's your money. It's your stones. You do whatever you'd like. I'm just here suggesting what I think. But um, real quickly, I think if we go into the uh, the banner here with blue coins, um, you get blue coins from all these summons. I was hoping we could find a little chart here of what you can purchase. Give me one second. I will be right back. Okay, so, did a little research. Um, I'm going to do a whole, se whole separate video for the blue coins thing. Um, I'm just going to have to hook up my phone and show you guys the options because I cannot find a page on it. But there's a lot of good characters or decent characters you can buy with blue coins as well, if you want to, from these banners. But I'll do that in a whole separate video. But hopefully that helped you guys figure out kind of who you want to uh, spend your, you know, special dragon stone on. We'll talk about the coins in the next video, but... I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for the support. We're almost at 1,000 subs, and we are on our way. So if you like what you saw, please drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. All that good stuff. I provide daily Dokkan content, and we also live stream over on twitch.tv slash leafgamesss. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I wish you well. Have a fantastic, awesome day. Bye, guys.